Hi friends! The book that I'm going to read you today is called Same or Different, Looking at Nature. And this is a book that I got from the book fair a while ago. And it is written by Bobby Kalman. And it doesn't say who it's illustrated by, probably because there are real photographs. So sometimes books have illustrations or drawings, but in some cases, usually with real information, they actually show you real photographs. And sometimes they'll put, instead of illustrated, the photographer's name. So it kind of just depends. But um, this is real information because it's about animals and what's the same and what's different. So here's the table of contents if you want to take a peek. Lots of different things in this book. Look closely. Many things in our world may look the same. Many things in our world may look different. Look closely at things around you. Some things may be the same in some ways, but they may be different in other ways. Look at the animals on this page. They are all cats, but how are they the same and how are they different? So think about it. These are all cats, but they're not all the same. They are a little bit different, but they're in the same cat family. The animals on this page are all insects. Insects are small animals with six legs. Some insects have wings. Look at these insects. There are two of each kind of insect. Which insects are the same and which insects are different? So think about which ones do you see that can fly? Which ones crawl? Which ones have similar colors? What is the same and what is different? Same or different? This animal has white fur on its back. It also has some brown fur on its body. What can this animal be? Will it show itself to me? Is this the same animal or a different one? Look at both pictures. Give reasons why you think this lemur is the same as the one on page six. Do you think this is the same animal from the front? Do you see it's behind? How do you know? Think about it. Well, both have white. Both have spottings of brown. Both are holding on to a tree branch. I think it's the same animal. One is from the front. Are they birds? A hummingbird is a small bird. It drinks nectar. Nectar is a sweet liquid in flowers. A hummingbird's long beak can reach the nectar in flowers. To stay in place while it drinks, a hummingbird flaps its wings quickly. So this is real information about a hummingbird. The animal above is also drinking nectar from a flower. It flaps its wings very fast. Is this a hummingbird? Nope, this animal's not a bird. It's an insect called a hummingbird moth. How do you think this insect got his name? They're kind of similar but they're different because one is a bird and one is an insect or like a bug. Interesting. I did not know about a hummingbird moth. Be it a bee? <gasps> Bees are black insects with yellow stripes on their bodies. Bees have wings for flying. They visit flowers for nectar. Bees drink nectar and use it to make honey. So this is a bee drinking nectar. Now this page says, this animal has yellow stripes too. It's looking at some yellow flowers. Is it the same as a bee or different? Can this animal fly? Can this animal make honey? No, it cannot make honey. This is a dog, not a bee. But there are some similarities. Sometimes it's the same, sometimes it's different. Are these snakes? That's what the heading says. I'm reading the headings and then there's paragraphs. This green snake is hiding among some leaves. It has a long body and smooth skin. 
Does it see another green snake on the next page? Do you see one? Is this animal a green snake? Can a snake turn into a butterfly? No, it cannot, but a caterpillar can. This animal is a caterpillar, not a snake. But do they have some similarities between them? Long necks with a question mark. I like this book. It's kind of silly. A giraffe has a very long neck and four long legs. It is a tall animal. A giraffe's brown fur has white markings on it. Giraffes live in hot, grassy places. So this is real information that's true about a giraffe. This animal's long body looks like a giraffe's neck. Its skin also is brown with white markings. Is this animal a giraffe? No, this is a moray eel. A moray eel is a fish that lives in the ocean. It has no neck. It has no legs. A moray eel has a long, thin body like the body of a snake. But the, the pattern and markings are similar, which is interesting. But they're totally different animals. Oh my gosh. A cup of what? Do you see the heading? All these animals are small. They are so small they can fit into a teacup. How are these animals the same? And how are they different? Go ahead and say it. What do you see? How are they the same? But how are they different? Ooh, they all have different colors. They're all different species. There's a lot. This animal is a duck. A duck is a type of bird. Birds have two legs and two wings, and birds have feathers. This animal is a dog. A dog has four legs, and it has fur on its body. This cup has a frog in it. A frog has four legs. A frog has smooth skin. A frog does not have fur or feathers on its body. And then this cup down here is this furry little hamster who has four legs. Which other animals has fur and four legs? Which animal is most like a hamster? Ouch! That is sharp. See the heading? Porcupines are animals that have quills on their bodies. Quills are sharp needles. The quills keep porcupines safe from other animals. If an animal attacks a porcupine, the porcupine's quills get stuck in the animal's body. Ouch. This animal has sharp needles on its body too. When the animal is afraid, it fills its body with water and its needles stick out. Is this animal the same as the porcupine on page 18? No. This animal is a porcupine fish. Puffer fish. Ooh, are eyes the same? Ooh, this is interesting. There's A, B, and C. Look at the eyes on these pages. Are they the same or different? One pair is not really eyes. Which pair is it? Ooh. So look at all the eyes. A, B, C. D, E, F. And then look up. These ones are not eyes. It's part of a moth, I think. Let's see. The spots on the moth's wings are not eyes. The spots are eye spots. They look like eyes, but the moth does not use these eyes to see. It's just a marking, probably to help protect itself. A lot of leopards. Leopards are wild cats. Leopards have many spots on their fur. This leopard cub is covered in spots. Some other animals have the word leopard in their names, but are they the same as a leopard or different? Here are some examples. A leopard gecko, a leopard butterfly, and a leopard shark. 
Are these the same as a real leopard? No, but they have leopard in the name, and I probably can guess why. The leopard gecko is covered with spots. Is it the same as the leopard cub? Does a gecko have fur? Is it a cat? No, this gecko is a lizard. It's not the same as a leopard cub. The butterfly has a leopard lace wing butterfly. It is, is it the same as a leopard cub? Can a cub fly? Nope. This leopard shark is a fish. It lives in the ocean. Is it the same as a leopard cub? No. How is it different? Oh, where does it live? Okay, and then here's an index. The index just tells you which page has which animals. And so I hope you guys like this book. It's real information. It's kind of silly, but I really like the photographs that it has because it's real information and it has real pictures of animals. So I hope you guys have a good day and we're going to keep reading informational text and thinking about the details in the text that you're learning. So I hope you learned something about animals today. Bye, guys.